Good morning. It's Monday, and I'm Nancy Joy, uh, and this is Reflections. Um, I ran into, during an astrology session that a, a dear friend of mine gave to me on my consciousness astrology. Her name is Barbara Junko, um, specializes in consciousness astrology. Um, it was really very informative, but one of the things uh, a friend of hers had said is this. If you're not loving life, you're taking love from someone else. And it just profoundly affected my heart. It was like, that is so true. Um, it's probably the root of the word neediness, huh? If we can't find it within ourselves, we're looking for it elsewhere. So as we are in the midst of the great shift where the human um, consciousness, God self, is being... Uh, directed, asked, it's time to move actually into the physical body. Um, you know, we've been separated um, for thousands of years. We've been split. And that's part of the discomfort, the pain, the duality, everything we experience. And now as the uh, our consciousness, our hearts, uh, our God selves align with the, the void of the galactic center, the black hole in the galactic center, which gave birth to our consciousness, uh, it's time for that consciousness to come into the physical body. And, you know, there's naturally resistance. Um, <laughs> it, it, are you going to be trapped or it's not safe? And all your body retains all the cellular memory, of course, of, of the difficult things that have happened. So one of the things going on in this shift uh, is very, very emotional. And... Um, I thought this morning it would be a great idea to give you one of um, the best emotional tools that I've ever run across. And I, I don't even like the word tool because it's, it's a way to shift your consciousness to align with the galactic center um, during times when your emotions are very, very difficult for you to handle. And it's not a way of moving away from emotions. It's not meditating to move in another space. It's acknowledging the emotions, keeping them with you in your spa in the space, and bringing consciousness to them, so they become conscious emotions, which are very powerful to use and to work with in your life. And so, it's a very basic tool. Say, I, I'd like you this Monday morning to take a look at your life, where you're not loving it, what's really upsetting you, what's going on deep inside of you. Identify the feeling. It's abandonment, is it fear, is it rejection, is it grief, identify it. And then embrace it, embody it, breathe it in, uh, acknowledge it, the best is three times. Uh, I am grieving, I am grieving, I am grieving. Own it, embrace it, let it vibrate in every cell in your body. Breathe it in. And then, and then comes the important part. Then comes the part where you, um, well, I use the word transmute, integrate that feeling into consciousness. I always, uh, in my workshops, I'm working with individual clients. It's cross your hands over your heart. Uh, shock, palm chakra, palm chakra, right over your heart. And I'm talking your high heart, not your physical heart. You can feel that center. And say the emotion, acknowledge it, um, what you're feeling out loud three times. Listen to it, breathe it in. And then take three deep cleansing breaths and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I accept you in compassion and gratitude. I accept you in compassion and gratitude. I accept you in compassion and gratitude. And then take a deep breath. And you're really using this tool uh, to transform, uh, as my friend this astrologer Barb Junko calls them. I, I had a different name, but I like this. Um, the ego's emotions uh, into conscious emotions, the emotions of the soul. Uh, and then they can become constructive. Then you can use your grief to understand the beauty in your life. If it's anger you're feeling, then you can use your anger to make a change in your life so you will love life, so you do embrace life. So this is an outstanding um, tool or method or whatever you want to call it uh, to use during this shift. It's simple. It's quick. It's easy. You can do it anytime, anywhere. 
and you will feel the shift inside of you. You will feel a lightness. You will feel that energy that is the deep love that I call the Shakti. And then you are not meditating to get away. You are bringing this all into the physical. And that's what this shift is about. So this is a great, um, I'm excited to bring you this, this Monday morning. It's uh, the day after the 4th of July. A lot of people have off today. It's freedom time. And you will never set yourself free until you integrate your emotions uh, into your physical body and your consciousness. So this is a great step. Practice it right now if you have a moment and pass this on. This is meaningful. And we'll see you next week on Monday. Have a great week.